If you're looking for the best iPhone gimbal, here's a list you must see. We made this list based on our personal preference and sorted it based on the features, prices, quality, durability, and reputation of the manufacturers and customer feedback. Also, we've included options for every type of customer. So let's get started. At the first position of our list, we have DJI OM4. In the world of iPhone gimbals, it's hard to top the DJI OM4. The OM4 is a brie to balance thanks to its magnetic phone clamp. This version is an abundance of features and capabilities ranging from motion time lapses for panoramas to active tracking for action shots and easy to use controls on the gimbal itself as well as the touchscreen of your phone. During our stability testing trials, we found the video to turn out to be extra smooth with this model. Panning speed, zoom speed, camera options, and many other settings are highly customizable with the DJI OM4, making it a solid choice for those looking to take their content creation to the next level. The fundamental flaw we found while testing the OM4 is that the panning range is limited on all three axes. If you're searching for a gimbal that can shoot the super low follow cam angle for an action sport, or you want 360 degree panoramic capabilities out of your gimbal, this is not the model for you. Although it functions exceptionally well once you get the hang of it, we found with the abundance of settings and functions that it takes some time to learn the ins and outs of how to operate it. Despite these drawbacks, the OM4 is still one of the best options for an iPhone gimbal with tons of functionality. Moving on to the next at number 2 with Hoham iSteady Mobile Plus. Another fantastic product, the Hoham iSteady Mobile Plus has a ton to offer content creators. While still finite, the central panoramic axis can rotate 600 degrees while the secondary and tertiary pivots each rotate 320 degrees. Working in concert, the mechanical range of panning, tilting, and rolling offers a treasure trove of capabilities for photo nerds and video geeks alike. We love how customizable the settings are on the iSteady Mobile Plus. There are options for reversing the joystick controls, adjusting the speed of the pan, adjusting the speed of the zoom, the list goes on and on. Nearly every setting on the gimbal can be customized to your preferences. To top it off, I'll unpack the gimbal, the tripod, and the cord up into a nice low-profile case. Although we prize the iSteady Mobile Plus, we found a few small flaws. It's not ideal that balancing is required every time you attach your iPhone, or that it must be rebalanced to switch between portrait and landscape mode. We've tested gimbals that require minimal balancing and switch between modes with the push of a button. We also found that the tripod's rubber feet and thin arms allow for a bit of swaying and wiggling while in use. This can be annoying while shooting a time, lapse, or other shot that requires absolutely no camera movement in fact. It might even ruin the images altogether. Still, we think the Hoham iSteady Mobile Plus is an excellent option for those looking for an iPhone gimbal with a substantial mechanical range that can be fine-tuned beyond settings that other manufacturers seem to have overlooked. The number 3 position is held by Fairy Tech Vlog Pocket. Not everyone requires a professional-grade gimbal for their iPhone vlogging and social media posts. If you're looking for a simpler device, we recommend the Fairy Tech Vlog Pocket. This device collapses into a shape that will easily fit in a purse or a small day pack, and it's light. The Feutech Vlog balances your phone automatically. This is a desirable feature for those who want to save time when it's time to get those spur-of-the-moment shots, or those who don't want to deal with the often arduous task of balancing the gimbal for every single use. A particularly attractive trait of the Vlog is the price. If you want a motorized gimbal but don't want to dent your funds too much to get one, this model is a solid choice. With the condensed construction of the Feutech Vlog, Pocket brings a lack of some of our favorite features. This device is missing a mechanical joystick. The designers have attempted to integrate the joystick into the touch controls on your iPhone, but when you go to adjust the gimbal angle, it closes the video preview. So your adjustments are a blind guess. We found that this gimbal's motion is a bit strange to get used to compared to our top ranked models during our assessment. That said, once you get used to operating the Vlog, it's as smooth as butter. We also happened upon a few holes in the manufacturer's claims. The 360-degree panorama is listed as 330 degrees in the fine print, but we couldn't get it to shoot any wider than 240 degrees. Also, it might technically fit into certain clothing pockets, but it sure isn't comfortable. Still, we think the Feutech Vlog is the way to go for a smaller profile iPhone gimbal for a reasonable price. Next at number 4, we have DJI Osmo Pocket. 
If you're looking for an entirely different take on iPhone gimbals, DJI offers a unique product called the Osmo Pocket. This camera slash gimbal combo is a self-contained device that saves files to an onboard micro SD card. However, it also uses a lightning adapter to directly integrate with an iPhone, or it can be linked to your phone using a Bluetooth signal. Once connected, the touchscreen of the phone unlocks a wide variety of custom settings and capabilities. We were impressed by the camera resolution offered by the Osmo Pocket. It's able to shoot 4K Ultra HD at a 6 type frame rate. With the unique design, the Osmo Pocket does have a few drawbacks. Many high-end iPhone gimbals have a joystick to adjust the camera to the perfect angle, but this model lacks that feature unless it's physically attached to the phone. The Pocket is also missing tripod threads, so you'll have to get creative if you go hands-free. Certain phone cases will not work while attaching this device to your phone. Finally, it's on the pricey side. That said, it's a standalone camera if you want it to be, and it's tiny for those looking for a model that will truly slide into your pocket. The number 5 position is held by Movie Freefly Cinema Robot. The Movie Freefly Cinema Robot has a unique design and a few features that we appreciate. The feel of the movie is similar to that of a DSLR or larger camera rather than a one-handed phone gimbal. Freefly has taken the headache and confusion out of learning how to create motion time lapses by programming the Cinema Robot with preset motion paths that are simple to use in echo mode. If you'd like to set your own pathways, simply adjust the angle by hand and pull the trigger for multiple points. We found this to be much faster and easier than using a joystick for setup. Most iPhone gimbals require you to lock your focus and exposure using the touch screen manually. However, the Cinema Robot has a one-touch button on the control pad that takes care of both settings. Balancing your iPhone can be a bit of a pain while getting the movie Freefly Cinema Robot ready to shoot. Also, if you want to switch between landscape and portrait mode, you will have to completely start over as there is no simple way to switch between them. The unique shape and design of the Cinema Robot is not conducive to one-handed use. Most of the gimbal weight is off to the left, making the whole setup much more comfortable to operate with your left hand supporting most of the weight. One-handed left-hand operation is out of the question as your hand and knuckles will be in the way of the gimbal's articulation path. It is also important to note that this model is exclusively for shooting video photographers will need to look elsewhere. Despite these few shortcomings, we still think the movie Freefly Cinema Robot is a solid option for those content producers looking for an easy-to-operate video dedicated gimbal and don't mind primarily using two hands for operation. The number 6 position is dominated by Xi'an Smooth Q2. The Xi'an Smooth Q2 has some decent features that certain people might find very attractive. The phone clamp has a quick release to detach it from the gimbal arm easily. This function is useful for answering a call without rebalancing your phone once the conversation is over. We like that turning the gimbal's horizontal arm wakes the gimbal up from standby mode to save time fumbling with the buttons when you're ready to shoot. The Smooth Q2 is one of the only iPhone gimbals we've seen with a panoramic axis with infinite rotation, which can make for some pretty incredible shots if you get creative. Unfortunately, we found quite a few flaws while testing the Xi'an Smooth Q2. Despite its small dimensions, it is surprisingly heavy, weighing in at a pound and a half. This doesn't sound like much, but considering that there are models available with many more capabilities that weigh under a pound, we wonder if the heaviness of the Smooth Q2 is necessary. Our testers notice that this device is very slow to balance when compared to other models. These can be the critical seconds where you could make or break a spur of the moment shot and subsequent memory. Sadly, the quick release phone clip doesn't secure to the gimbal very well. It takes a minimal amount of pressure to slide the clip off the device, even when it's supposedly locked on. Still, if a quick release phone clamp is a must-have and you like the idea of 360-degree panoramic axis rotation, the Xi'an Smooth Q2 is the way to go. Moving on to the next at number 7 with Xi'an Smooth X. The Xi'an Smooth X is a great piece of kit in a compact and lightweight package. It features a plastic build, but the affordable price tag helps make this smartphone gimbal a very tempting proposition for anyone looking to upgrade their smartphone videography or vlogging. Plus, the ability to swivel the gimbal head into portrait orientation helps make this gimbal an indispensable piece of kit for any vlogger. One of our only niggles with the Xi'an Smooth X is that the ZY Kami app that you need to use in order to set up the gimbal isn't compatible with every phone. However, most phones are capable of running the app, so check the compatibility list here if you're unsure. The number 8 position is held by Xi'an Smooth 4. A huge percentage of video that's uploaded to the internet every year is shot on an iPhone. 
And this isn't just cat videos and Instagram stories. More and more professional content creators are turning to the iPhone as a reliable means of capturing great footage. Gimbal-wise, the best buy for the iPhone user right now is the Xiaomi Tech Smooth 4 Stabilizer, a gimbal that refines what's come before to provide a great stabilization solution at an attractive price. Its generous on-body controls include a large wheel that can be used for focusing or zooming, which makes using the gimbal a pleasingly tactile experience. When paired with the app, the Smooth 4 also allows for creation of many useful effects, such as moving time-lapse, and there's a special vertigo function that produces a perspective-shifting dolly zoom effect. Bear in mind that the Smooth series has something of a reputation among Android users for unreliability, so this is definitely one for the iPhone crowd. Next at number 9, we have Fadec Vimble 2. The Vimble 2 has been around for a while and can now be found at rock bottom prices, and it's not just the low cost that's attractive, as the Vimble 2 has an unusual party piece. Pull the handle away from the lower arm and a four-section telescoping pole is revealed, allowing the gimbal to double as a selfie stick. It's useful if you're vlogging and need to capture a larger group in selfie mode, though with only 8 income of extension. We wager the folding compactness of the competing DJI Osmo Mobile 3 will be a more useful feature on a daily basis. We've got no complaints when it comes to stabilization, as the Vimal 2 is effective straight from powering up. The phone's holder can be manually moved using a joystick on the handle, and for additional features like face and subject tracking, there's the Feiyu on app. This enables digital camera zoom via the physical slider on the Vimble 2 handle, as well as reliable object tracking. Build quality and ergonomics aren't quite up there with the Osmo Mobile 3. However, and at 428, the Vimble 2 is a touch heavier. The 5-hour battery life is also significantly shorter than you get from the DJI. Finally, the number 10 position is dominated by GoPro Karma Grip. A legacy leftover from the ill-fated GoPro Karma drone, the Karma Grip is still an excellent handheld stabilizer in its own right, and its detachable grip means it can also double up as a wearable Steadicam tool. Offering a broad range of camera controls, thanks to integrated buttons on the grip, this well-designed stabilizer is very easy to introduce into your shoots, allowing you to offload footage without disconnecting the camera. While it's an expensive option, if you're firmly committed to the ecosystem, this gimbal is arguably the best GoPro buy you can make. Note that this is not compatible with the GoPro Hero 8 Black. That's all for today. We upload product review videos every single day. So, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon for the upcoming video notification.